welcome back to the vlog. I know it's been a minute since I've done a video like this, but I thought that this project definitely deserved a video. So I'm home for the holidays and didn't bring any of my paint stuff back because I wasn't planning on doing any projects during December. Um, shut it down um, for all of December so I wouldn't have to drag my paints here from Florida um, and reset up a paint shop here. Wasn't really planning on doing any shoes or cleats while I'm home for Christmas, just to kind of get a break. Um, my brother has a wedding coming up, just to be done. Didn't want to have to move my paint shop, none of that stuff. But two days ago, I got a text from Jack Prescott, who, if you don't know, is the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, he asked me to do some custom cleats for him for his next couple games, which obviously I said yes. He didn't want anything too crazy. He just said, keep it simple, keep it Cowboys colors, and we'll just go from there. And if you don't know, he's a Jordan-sponsored athlete. So we decided to just stick with the simple Jordan look, just in Cowboys colorways. So the first pair of cleats he wanted me to customize for this week's game versus the Washington football team are these black Jordan 6s. For these, he just wanted to add a little bit of navy um, to the black, but mostly just keep it the way it is. And then the other pair of plates you have for me to customize are these white Jordan 1 cleats. Now for these, we're going to do a few more colors than we get to do with these, but still just keeping it um, pretty simple, pretty basic Cowboys colors. And then lastly, which is actually the original reason he messaged me at all, I have a secret project I'm working on for him for Christmas, but I'll show you all that later. Okay, so because I left almost all of my paint stuff back in Florida, I had to pretty much build a paint studio from scratch, which means I had to go out and buy everything that I need to make these cleats, as well as the secret project that I'm working on. So I spent my day yesterday going to Hobby Lobby, Home Depot, um, an auto parts store, and then a leather shop. Um, just kind of gathering my supplies that I need for these projects. Okay, so the first and most obvious thing I needed to get was paint. Lots and lots and lots of paint. I also had to go get all of the additives and acetone that I need um, to make this project work. A bunch of new tools, paint brushes, markers, tape. And probably the most hard to find, I had to find some adhesion promoter um, to make sure that the cleats don't chip. And then the most exciting, but also most expensive thing I had to go buy was an airbrush and compressor set, which I'm actually super excited about, but obviously those do not come cheap. Okay, so at this point you might be wondering how in the world did you afford to just make a completely new paint setup? And thankfully, when I explained the situation I was in, not having my paints and all of that, to Jack, he covered all the expenses of creating a new setup, um, including the airbrush and compressor, which is not cheap. So I'm super, super thankful for that, super blessed um, to get to work with him. Okay, so for the Jordan 6, um, we're sticking with really, really simple black and navy. We will just be painting this upper cage um, navy and leaving the rest of the shoe black. Super simple shoe, shouldn't take too, too long. So, let's go ahead and get started. So my apologies, I promise it was not overly interesting. 
Um, but yeah, so that's it for the sixes. I go deliver these today and then hopefully get started on the next pair. I didn't take the time to record the process, but here is how they turned out. I'm super, super excited about these. He's gonna be wearing these this week, um, also against the Washington football team, um, which is funny because the last pair I made, they were also playing them. Um, but this is for the December 26th game. He wanted to do a silver pair for these um, with a real subtle cowboy's design, so that's why we did the full on silver with the matte cowboy star as well as the tiny details of adding um, the four and the Jordan sign on the back. These really didn't take me very long to do um, but I have not got to do a metallic pair of shoes before so I was really excited about these um, and I love 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 how these came out. Probably would keep them if I could. Project. Originally, Dak had reached out to me asking if I would be able to complete about 8 to 10 pairs of custom Jordans for him for Christmas. So he gave me 10 pairs of these. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how to pronounce this, so I'm not even, not even gonna try. He gave me 10 pairs of those and asked me to come up with a design, um, just kind of a freestyle design. So yesterday, me and my mom actually spent several hours um, getting these shoes taped up and ready to paint, which is my absolute least favorite part of doing customs, maybe besides taking out and putting back in the laces. I already recorded some of the process last night, um, but if you can't tell, I'm super, super excited, so let's get it. print just freehand so took quite a long time it was definitely a grind but love this project love the way these turned out um, but yeah hopefully he likes them too <laughs> 